Hello folks, welcome back, Samuel Golden again. So far in this Learn to Fly series, we have talked about getting your medical certificate, finding where you'll learn, and choosing your CFI. Today, let's talk about your student pilot certificate, flight time requirements, and aviation organizations and scholarships. We have a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. If you haven't already, get started on your student pilot certificate. It's quick to apply for, but it can take the AFAA six to eight weeks to process. You'll need this before your instructor can authorize your first solo flight, so I'd recommend starting this process now. It's simple. Start by creating an account and completing your application on the Integrated Airman Certification and or Rating Application. Ooh, how's that for a name? Let's just call it IACRA from now on. I'll put a link to IACRA on your uh, on your screen or in the description below. Your instructor will review and submit your application, then you'll receive your student pilot certificate in the mail, and you'll love how the certificate feels in your wallet. Next, I recommend you review the flight time requirements for the private pilot certificate. You'll benefit from keeping them in mind while you train. For part 61, you are required to have a minimum of 40 hours of solo time and flight instruction before you take your final flight test, commonly known as a check ride. At an FAA-approved school, or Part 141, you are required to have only 35 hours. Additionally, these total flight time requirements are broken into down into more detail, such as how much time with your instructor, night flying, solo flying, etc. Rather than list the details here, I'd recommend you read the regulations themselves, which I'll put a link on your screen and in the description. You want to get comfortable referring to these regulations, you'll review them a lot, so now is a great time to start. One caveat here though, while 40 or 35 flight hours is the minimum, the national average is actually around 75 hours, but you are special. So with focused frequent training and a great instructor, you might be able to whittle it down to 55 hours. Also be prepared for possible flight delays due to weather, maintenance, or personal schedules. This is all normal in aviation. Your last task for today is to research and possibly join some aviation organizations. Here are a few. Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, or AOPA, offers advocacy, services, and resources like magazines, pilot insurance, and legal help. They also organize events and represent general aviation interests to Congress and locally. The Experimental Aircraft Association, or EAA, supports recreational aviation and hosts the world's largest aviation event, Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, every July. They also have many uh, chapters at local airports, some near you, so go check those out. There are also some great organizations for women, such as the 99s and the Women in Aviation International, or WAI. These organizations also have local chapters, so find one near you. Almost done. One last tip for today. Take advantage of scholarships. Some of the organizations I just mentioned and many more offer aviation scholarships for pilots of all experience levels, even student pilots like yourself. Don't hesitate to spend some time looking up and qualifying for scholarships that you qualify for. Okay, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll discuss ground school and getting ready for your knowledge test. This is a fun and very important topic, so be sure to catch that next week. See you then.